Hi, this is Stephanie from ST Microelectronics. This video is addressed to people new to ST Microelectronics and to our STM32 microcontroller family. In this video, I will guide you through a variety of resources that you will need in order to begin your development with our STM32 micros. Step one is to select your STM32 microcontroller. You can use our standalone STM32 MCU Finder or access the MCU Finder in STM32 CubeMX. To select a micro for custom board development or to peruse the extensive list of STM32 micros available, select the Access to MCU Selector option. Otherwise, to browse the list of development boards available, select the Access to Board Selector option. Using this MCU Finder makes it easy to filter by various features and peripherals in order to find the best suited STM32 microcontroller for your application needs. The datasheet gives a general overview of the microcontroller. In the datasheet, you will find a brief overview of the micro, its features, pin mappings, electrical characteristics, and ordering information. To find the corresponding microcontroller's datasheet, start by typing in the full microcontroller part number in the search bar on st.com. Once redirected to the MCU's landing page, you can access the datasheet by clicking on the Download Datasheet icon. When doing firmware and application development, you should heavily reference the micro's reference manual. The reference manual provides information on how to use the microcontroller's memory and peripherals. In addition, this is where you'll want to look for all the available registers and registers' meanings. The micro's corresponding reference manual can be found under the Documentation tab. The errata provides a list of known microcontroller limitations, and if applicable, the suggested workaround. When debugging an issue, one of the first resources we always recommend you start with is the errata sheet, as this could potentially save you a significant amount of debugging time. The microcontroller's errata can be found under the Documentation tab. For every Nucleo, Discovery, and Evaluation board we have available, you can find its corresponding board schematic on st.com. These schematics can be used as a reference design for those who are wanting to implement their own custom STM32 board. You will find the board's corresponding schematic under the CAD Resources tab. Please note that some boards have different schematics available depending on the different board versions. To verify that you're looking at the correct schematic, compare the MB number on the back of your board to the MB number on the first page of the schematic. When working on a custom board design, there are two application notes to keep handy. The first one is the Getting Started with STM32 Series Hardware Development Application Note. This application note provides guidance for certain hardware characteristics and includes several reference designs. Please check for the correct AN under your Micros Document tab as each series has its designated hardware development guide. The second one is AN2867. This application note is especially beneficial in terms of guiding you through the process of conducting a proper oscillator design and providing you with a list of recommended crystals that are compatible with the various STM32 microcontrollers. Every microcontroller family comes with a designated STM32 cube firmware package. In this single package, you can find a rich variety of resources. This includes, but is not limited to, plug-and-play example projects for several different boards, applications, demonstrations, drivers, and a wide variety of libraries. To find and download your microcontroller's Q package, simply search for STM32 Cube with the microcontroller's leading letter and number. Once redirected to the landing page, click on the Get Software icon. As the team is constantly working on improving our resources, it's important to keep up to date with the latest documentation in Q packages. The latest updates can always be found on sc.com, GitHub, and STM32 CubeMX. On our SC YouTube channel, you can find a variety of tutorials and labs. However, we would highly recommend starting with the following. The introduction to STM32 MCUs, the basics, is a playlist curated to build a foundational understanding of our STM32 microcontrollers. The STM32 G0 Workshop MOOC is a playlist that walks beginners through a series of detailed hands-on labs using our Nucleo G071RB. The STM32 Schematic Self-Review Playlist outlines the schematic review process to follow when conducting a review on your custom STM32 micro design. Thank you for watching, and we hope that you enjoyed this presentation. For more on our STM32 family and products, 
please visit sc.com. We will see you next time. Bye!